Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition, page 250. Interventricular Septum Development. Describe what you see on page 250, the picture 1 under Interventricular Septum Development. On this picture, you see the interventricular foramen. You also see the atrioventricular canals as well as the muscular ventricular septum. Describe the second step in the interventricular septum development by looking at the picture on page 250, number 2. In the second picture here, you see the AP septum rotates and fuses with the muscular ventricular septum to form membraneous interventricular septum. It also closes the interventricular foramen. Describe what you see on picture 3 of the interventricular septum development on page 250. On image 3, you see the growth of the endocardial cushions which separates the atria from ventricles and this contributes to both atrial separation and the membranous portion of the interventricular septum. What are some of the pathologies that can arise if there is an improper neural crest migration into the truncus arteriosus? If this were to happen, it would result in transposition of the great arteries or a persistent truncus arteriosus. What condition can arise if there is a defect in the membranous septal? If there is membranous septal defect, it causes an initial left to right shunt, which later reverses to right to left shunt due to the onset of pulmonary hypertension. This is called Eisenmenger syndrome. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.